I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. The Thalmor Ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. something? Got any ale or mead? Yeah, yeah. and all the sky room. A gal like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Only thing better than riding a swift horse is riding a swift horse over the enemy. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you'll...
You talk to Egg Brothers. Deja has no words for you. You could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Until next time. You got business at the stables? If you're heading up to solitude... Is this about the stables? Check out My husband Gaiman way. handles the business. It's a good one. A woman like you should own a horse. Go speak with my husband. If you've come to solitude, Turn Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on you with it! Traitor. You betrayed us! Betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Adlar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo! I go to Solengard. Some gate guard you were! We should have drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. Not right now. Rogvir, why did it have to be like this? I think I expect Good a man opens a gate and they I cut see. his head off. I Doesn't still seem think right he knew to he me. Was doing when he opened that gate. Oh, I guess it's all over. I expected. Oh, I don't know what I expected. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. 
I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you, but Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Hello, I'm Gisli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Welcome to the center of the world. Yes, my older brother, and the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. We'll speak again later, if we must. Feel free to make requests. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Sure. What can I do for you? You should think about staying the night. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Stick around. Still plenty of... You were this there for Rogvir's execution. A legend we all know and love. Perhaps, but necessary. Hero, My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his dams insurrectionists. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. You really don't know? He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. People to see him places to go, huh? Later, then. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. True, the I may Imperials. look the p Your typical solitude wench is like by the blade or by spell. If you want it dead, but, uh, what dangers and wonders shall we discover in the frozen waste? I can hardly wait to find out. Lead on them. We will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Of the scourge that has ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. Aye, but I'll be here in solitude for longer still. Fiata's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. I wanted to learn. And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm, that is nearly white with... 
what do you call it? Oh, yeah, snow. And far to the west lies a ruin, Volskaig. Inside, there's said to be a wall, black as night, and it speaks in the ancient dragon tongue. There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. Where the dragon attacked? We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies, but no real news. Then we should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Remember the Winking Skeever next time you're foot sore. Hiya, what's your name? Are you visiting? What do you do? Someday, Papa doesn't I'll like when I talk heroin. to customers anyway. You make it look so appealing. I may look the part of dashing swordsman, this is an but I prefer we the art of will wit drive to that of Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours. And we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings On the day of your death we will drink and we'll sing I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. I have no business with you. Leave me. Go away. I have more important things on my mind right now. Take my advice. Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. You know you can afford a septimal too. I'm sure, I'm sure. Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. He's a stubborn oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. A coin or two for a veteran? I'm not interested, sir. Not much doesn't ask. matter how many times you ask. They're new in town, right? Maybe you need a place to... I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Listen, Rogvir and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogvir I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. From that point forward, every time Vivian and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. Beat me up, dump mead on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord? Ugh, pure folly. Jarl Elisif the Fair. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. 
was a dark day for us all. Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. Save me a lot of trouble. Here. Take it to the Blue Palace. Work in it. I own it. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. I was done talking anyway. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground. Or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us, we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Just remember, I'm here if you rethink your decision. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. May the gods watch over your back. If that's what you want, watch your back out there. And if you need me again, you know where I'll be. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. You are not supposed to be in here. You are not supposed to be in here. You are not supposed to be in here. Last warning. Leave now.
You're not supposed to be in here. You are not supposed to be in here. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from... No, that honor is Sibyl Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor. And keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. I was a young rascal. I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Debts are debts. Either he pays them or his kind do. Works for me. Tell Artiev the debt's settled. Your sword, Armstrong. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his... I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone Please, to investigate. Don't interrupt the court. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my Your rule. Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Do you have business with the court? Oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. You 
mean the Dragon Bridge issue. I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You would do well to remember that. <laughs> that remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's if where I it got the name. If I from you, you would know it. Feel free to return Always to me remember, with questions. Please address right all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. With the passing of my dear husband, Torek, the weighty position of Jarl has fallen to me. Please direct questions to my steward. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torek. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult. Especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Do you have business with the court? The Imperials what are you're good doing. for business. Thane Bryling, at your Skyrim. service. It's been an honor. I have so very many ways. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine. I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that.
I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The white gold concordat, the banning of Talos' worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torg became that symbol. No, even after Islot died, the moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that moot, continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torg respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torg might have done it. Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man, and this is his Empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Very. I helped raise him. Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. He made a fine king. A fine king. You've already learned all I can teach you. So... You wish to master the arcane arts. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. I can always hey, find time to, to share it, right? a word with a warrior. Watch your feet. We just clean there. It's been an honor. If Erdy caught the me chatting, I'd never hear business, the end of it. And business is good for Skyrim. Oh, maybe you need a partner, hmm? Just picture it. Two women. The dusty road. Strapping men at every tavern. A fortune in gold to be claimed. No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider that I make sure Erica keeps breathing. Oh, I think you'll find that magic is rare in Skyrim. Winterhold, though, the college there has it in abundance. Look there if you want. Potions, head over to Angeline's aromatics. Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. Please, take pity on an old madman. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. 
Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Until next time. Yes. I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Thanks for taking the time. People never want to talk to me. Being old's not so bad. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. Show those thieves not to steal from... You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Papa says they're too friendly with strangers. In the but old you fort seem near right. We're right. a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. Sure. What do you want? That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindom. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. 
I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. Until next time. Ah, good to see you again. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Thanks again for the legwork. Got a lot of respect for the restoration school. Skyrim could use a lot more heroes. Hi. So, have you got? Yorick's sister? Poor child. Magic runs deep in that family's bloodline. It's not always a blessing. Thank you for this. Something for your trouble. May Kinareth's winds blow you to My fortune. Burns. What do you want, Kat? Hi. Good day. So, have you got a nettle bait? See why the Nords like Skyrim. This crisp air is wonderful for the lungs. Sometimes the difference between life and death. Is...
which can take you to any of the whole capitals. All right. The Northern Maiden is ship-shape and ready to go. My carriage is the safest way. It's an old city, I can tell you that. The Palace of the Kings is ancient. It's not the friendliest place for outsiders. The Dark Elves were all forced to live in a slum called the Grey Quarter. our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm close. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. hate the Dark Elves. Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking, unworthy of one such as you. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Mm-hmm. They're reforming the Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something, in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! <laughs> then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Do you know my father? He's... His name is Torsten Krulsey. He's really rich, because he owns a farm called Hollyfrost. He told me once that he wanted me to grow up and be a sailor, because that's where all our family names come from. I try to keep Grimvast. Mm, yes, it is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home, and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament, the ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Why a little boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me. But he is inviting evil into this city. Safe right, travels.
Father, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. So, very tired. So, very tired. Grow on, you old crone. You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Grow on, you old crone. You'll get what you deserve. Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Finally! My prayers have been answered! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grella the kind. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Broad is the headmistress of Honor Hall Orphanage, but not for long.